Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are seeing me for the first time, my name is Sipe, and for those of you who are regulars on my channel, yo, what's up? If you haven't already, please do subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to like, turn on the bell so you can see notifications every time I post, and share the link with your friends so you can have them subscribing as well. So guys, today is like a sit down. It is a very calm video. Um, I am going to be doing, I don't want to say it's sort of a motivational talk, but it is me sharing my journey to self-love. So, I have my notes written down on my tablet, so please do excuse me if, like, I tend to look down a lot, but I just want to make sure that I have covered everything. And then, yeah, I really hope you guys do enjoy this video, and let's get into it. So what is self-love, right? Self-love is defined as having a high regard for your own health and your own happiness. So I'm going to get into exactly why it is that I decided to take this journey to self-love. It was because of like the type of person I was, you know. I was not very happy with the type of person that I was. I was not very happy myself. Like I was so... I just wanted to feel safe and comfortable in my own bubble like I never wanted to really explore new things I wasn't really open to change I wasn't really open to the idea of being out there even though I'm a very like outspoken person and I have a very like bubbly personality I was just not in the idea of being out there because I was scared of like the world and what they had to say about how I looked and how I dressed and Oh my gosh, it was it was just a, like it was just a lot. And it's that the main reason for why I just fell into that state in the first place of not loving myself was because of the bullying that I experienced. Like I was body shamed and I was bullied and I received like various types of bullying, like bullying on the internet, verbal like I experienced all types of bullying and they just made me slip into that place where i didn't love myself i didn't love my body like i began wearing like you know baggy clothes like i just i just wasn't comfortable with myself anymore and that is like also one of the reasons why i just stopped going out like i just didn't want to go out with my friends i just didn't want to go out at all because i just felt like you know i'm going out i'm embarrassing people i'm either going to eat too much or it was a lot it was a lot and everything being a lot also made me a very negative person like very 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 negative person like right now you see me i'm all about positivity i'm all about good vibes i'm sorry if you are coming to me with bad vibes with the i'm going to then i'm going to give up with the mentality with an i can't do it mentality like right now those type of people i don't want you in my life to the point where i don't even accept you into my life and that is also mainly because of where I'm coming from. Like, it has taken so much of me to get to where I am today for me to go back there, you know. I've shed too many tears. I've gone through too many things for me to go back to, like, where I was, like, the state that I was in. So that is why, you know, I don't welcome those people into my surroundings or I don't welcome that type of energy into my surroundings. And it is very good as a person. If you want to be happy and if you want to have peace, Yak that type of energy. Like if it if a person open attract a drama or if a person is negative or if they shut down every business idea or anything like that is just going to get you far. Cut those people out of your life, guys. Yo, for your own sake. For your own sake. But okay, yeah, also um yeah, to add on to that, I was also just very I was very toxic like i feel like now i can say that i'm like i was a toxic person because now i've had time to like observe my toxic traits and be like oh okay no mm -hmm. nah. <laughs> nah that ain't you know that ain't it but i was a very toxic person i also preached a lot about you know self-sabotage and xyz and xyz and those things sometimes i also did them to myself like it was like I was a hypocrite to an extent, you know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you see when you're in peace with yourself, bro, you'll tell yourself the truth. 
But I was a hypocrite because I was the type of person to preach this and preach that. And I didn't, like, necessarily do that. And I was also, like, able to give out advice that I wasn't willing to take myself, that I really needed to take myself. So it just took a lot for me to get from that space to where I am today. Not that person anymore. <laughs> not that person. Not that person anymore, you know? So let me, like, just get into how i started you know first thing is that i started taking therapy right i think i was i was rock bottom when i started taking therapy but i started going to therapy it was very nice to talk to someone who knows nothing about me like they can't judge me because they don't know anything they don't know like the people all they're gonna know is names like they don't know faces they don't know they're just gonna know names you know and it felt like a very comfortable environment so therapy did help because i was able to like take out my emotions i was able to cry without worrying about you know i need to be tough i need to thug it all out like it was very for someone like me it did take a lot but i'm glad i did it because you know it allowed me to be vulnerable you know so i do suggest therapy you see if you're already sliding into rock bottom depression and all of that guys on my channel i don't want people who are fighting demons day and night so go to therapy or just talk to someone you feel like that person is your safe space you know number two is that i started working on my spiritual relationship my spiritual relationship with god i am a christian um i am very oh my gosh, like, God, my number one, you, you got what I'm saying, like, God is just my everything, and I just started building a relationship with him, you know, I started talking to him a lot more, I started journaling, I started having my devotion, I didn't take prayer anymore as me dishing out what I need God to do, more of what it is that I'm grateful for, and more of God prepare me for the blessings that you have for me, because many a times as Christians, we tend to pray for, we want this, we want this. But fact of the matter is, are we even really ready for, like, what God has for us? So, I just started building my spiritual relationship with God. And that also, like, that helped me to have a lot of peace within myself. Because the amount of peace and joy that I find in worship, different type of. That was just a different experience for me. So, I really, really, really enjoyed that experience. Which is why even today, I still continue to work on my relationship with God. Because your relationship with God can never be one tara. And don't ever compare your relationship with God, like with somebody else's relationship with God. Because you guys are on personal and different journeys. So, you know, they won't be the same. So number three was that, like I walked away from a lot of friendships and things that were not benefiting me. A lot of relationships, a lot of habits. Things that were not benefiting me and what it is that I want and where it is that I am heading. I just simply walked away from it because I found no value. I found no peace. I found no happiness in staying there. So I just walked away. Guys, if you want happiness and if you want to start loving yourself, walk away from things that don't make you happy and walk away from things that don't benefit you. You see these nyana nyana relationships, nyana 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 um, friendships that don't add value into your life walk away from them and you know what adds value into your life when you know what you are about who you are and where you're heading because trust me the moment i started like walking away from those type of relationships from those friendships from those situationships from those entangled like all those things the moment i started walking away from that i became a very happy person right now i'm surrounded by the most genuine people ever like i have people that support me people that support my dreams people that are walking with me people that are praying with me like the circle that i have is just phenomenal it is number amazing. four is i set boundaries guys boundaries are important boundaries i said boundaries um it is very, like, I don't want to say it's essential, but it is essential. Like, guys, knowing where you stand with someone, it is, like, it is important, you know. I understand the importance of that now because 
I don't want to find myself like overstepping. I don't want to find myself doing too much for people who are going to do the bare minimum for me. Like, set boundaries. Like, know where you stand with certain people and then know what your role is in their life. So that if I know good to with you, we're just acquaintances. Brah, you will not find me venting to you. Like, that is just not us. It, it is not who we are. We are not going to do who we are not. So, setting boundaries is just very important. Also, for yourself. Like, when you set boundaries within a relationship or a friendship, you don't expect too much, you know. And also, you can't get disappointed. Like, what's going to disappoint you? You get what I'm saying? Like, you're not setting expectations. You don't want to get disappointed. Like, you have established, okay, this is my friend. This is the extent of our friendship. So, therefore, you know, this is all I'm expecting for the friendship or from the relationship. And that also, like, it helped me come to peace in terms with a lot of people. And that is also what helped me walk away from a lot of people. Like, when people overstep boundaries, they don't respect you. And if they don't respect you, leave them alone. <laughs> leave them alone, okay? Number five is that I started practicing self-love and self-care. So I started, like, I never took, like, maintenance and things, like, so seriously. I was not that type of girl. Like, as long as I was clean and my hygiene was it, like, you know. But, like, what maintenance, having with the self-care days, the self-care routine, I was never about that. And trust me, now that I'm into that, I love that. And maintenance now is becoming a big thing for me. Don't look at me now and be like, how is maintenance like, it's, now I'm just going through the most, you know. As soon I'm going to have my nails done, I'm going to have my hair done. <laughs> you know. So maintenance just started becoming a big thing for me. And also self-love. Like, I just stopped being so hard on myself. One thing was also about, like, me being a perfectionist. Like, that was also, it took me back and forth. And like a lot of things like content wise like everything wise like i always had this urge that things needed to be a certain way for people you know to accept it or for people to love it but then like i forgot or at the end of the day it is about me it is about my life what i love you know like what matters to me so yeah i just started practicing self-love and self-care and that is one of like, that is by far one of the best decisions that I've made. And then, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. I also started eating right. Like, I started eating right. I started doing meal preps. I went on a diet. Like, I just, I went on a diet to experience, like, you know, how this diet thing is. I had my own, like, challenges and things through that time. But I also realized that, you know, I do want to eat healthy. Like, I don't mind, okay, when I go out now, I'll, I'll like, I'll eat. I'm not, I'll proper, proper eat when I go out. But, like, now I do watch what I eat. And, like, I just, I love that for me, you know. Okay, number six is I change the way I think and the way that I view things. I didn't, like, I didn't, now I don't view change in a negative way i don't view change in a negative way i also don't view people who bring those type of ideas like to me in a negative way like now i'm very open to like criticism like if i'm doing something wrong like i appreciate someone who tells me like do you're doing this wrong like i feel like you should have went about this approach like i appreciate those type of people you know and with the whole like me accepting criticism it also helped me like improve as a person because as a person like i'll keep only at fault and xyz and xyz and xyz so that like you know it also helped me as a person grow like internally and externally so so you know guys be open to change be open to new ideas be open to doing different things be open to different scenery but yeah with me changing the the whole the way I think and the way I view things, um, started finding I started finding the positive in everything. That is why now when people like come across me and I'm sad, they're like, "Whoa, is this you? Like you sad?" 
I'm a very happy person. Like, that is just me. Like, when you meet me, I'm very happy. I have good energy. I bring about good energy. Like, that is just my vibe. And I always find the positive in every, like, situation. I don't give up. That is not part of me. That is not part of my brand. That is not in me. I don't give up. I just, I don't like that. Like, that is why I don't like the whole negative talk. No, sorry, they can just stop me. Number seven, right? Number seven. That is the last one. Um, I started journaling. I started meditating. You know, having some me time, having some quiet time. You know, just to reflect, to self introspect, to, you know, that time is just important like it just helps you think of things you wouldn't think of in a busy environment and for people who are very busy like doing a lot of things who are juggling a lot of things me time is very important and then for journaling like it was it was good like journaling for me is not like devotion like devotion is my time with god journaling is me time like i am what it is that i'm grateful for what it is that i'd like to change how it is that i've grown which is why i've also taken like this thing where i'm gonna get a jar right i'm gonna get a jar and in 2022 i'm gonna write all about all the great things that have happened to me so that you know at like every single year as the years go by i can be thankful like walking into a new year knowing that you know these are the great things that happened for me in 2021 i wish i started them because 2021 was a great year and it was a blessing but you know yeah like appreciate the little things and every single person in your life i'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the hard truths of self-love and self-care number one is that you lose a lot of people i'm going to cry <laughs> but you lose a lot of people and it is mainly because you are shedding like you're shedding your old skin so people are not necessarily not always going to love who you're becoming or accept the change or the things that you are doing so they are most probably going to walk out like not the real ones though <laughs> the real ones are gonna love it for you but i'm not i'm not gonna call them fake ones i'm just gonna say you know they're just not ready to do it with you but also as a person you need to understand that you outgrow certain things you outgrow certain people and that is why i i'm calling it shedding you are going to lose a lot of people um so my advice to you you know losing a lot of people and everything is that you know don't expect people to do a lot for you you know expect a lot from yourself do a lot from yourself manifest things that you want like another thing with the whole manifestation thing manifest pray work don't manifest get 11 11 and stop there manifest pray and work you know and it is going to fall into place all at its own time like don't rush your journey you know fall in love with yourself fall in love with your body if you're working out let it not be you're working out to lose weight because you want this guy to like you or you want to fit into this gang or you want this and this and this let it be i'm working out because i want to fall in love with myself like i want to go to the mirror and be like yes or when that girl you know or yes and a boy like you know like let it be that type of energy don't do things for the likes of other people do things for the likes of yourself and yeah just focus on your own abilities your own capabilities your own strengths work on your weakness like one thing about self-love is also becoming the best version of yourself and constantly improving Con keep continuing continuing that one continually you know what i'm saying like improving yourself like let it be that type of journey like have like find your sandy find the hobbies find the things that make you laugh the things that make you happy find the type of things like activities that you like to do like just like do you like do you like do you you know what i'm saying for now i really 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 hope you guys enjoyed the video i really hope you also learned something i also hope that you know i inspired someone out there or encouraged someone out there to start this journey 
for themselves but anyway if you haven't already subscribe 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 and if you haven't i mean come on give this video a like comment down below absolutely anything you want videos that you like me to do people that you'd like me to collab with uh, uh tell them about so you can see your education every time i post and share the link with the friends so you can have them subscribing as well bye guys see you guys on the next video